shouldn't matter whether or not we're having a party in March. Um, but if people need extra motivation, <laughs> maybe that's what you know they'll find. All right, barely three months after it was lifted, the indoor mask mandate returns to Orleans Parish. New Orleans City leaders citing an incredibly high percent of positivity rates and a growing strain on our health care system as reasons why. WDSU's Morgan Lentis is live outside City Hall where the head of the New Orleans Health Department made that announcement earlier today. Morgan, what else did she have to say? Well, Travers, Dr. Jennifer Avegno says there are three things we have to do right now to end this current surge. She says we have to mask up, we have to get vaccinated and then boosted, and you have to get tested if you are sick. She says the numbers we're seeing here in New Orleans right now are the highest they've been during the entire pandemic. Right now, our percent positivity rate is over 31%. 5% used to be the point when the city would consider increasing mitigation measures. And Dr. Avegno stressed today, it is not just adults who are at risk of getting sick, kids are too. And doctors at Children's Hospital agree, saying over the past week and a half, they've averaged 20 hospitalized COVID patients a day. Three weeks ago, just to give some context, there were only two children in the hospital with COVID. And so this came on very suddenly. There are no beds. If you go to an emergency department right now, expect to wait 6, 10, 12 hours to be seen just to get back to the emergency department. We are having staff outages in the triple digits that's common at some of our larger facilities. And so those are all reasons why doctors say it is so important right now to mask up so that we can stop the spread of the Omicron variant. Travers. And Morgan, quick question. When it comes to those masks, Dr. Jennifer Avegno had some recommendations. What are those? Yeah, so Travers, for really the first time throughout this pandemic, she had some specific examples of masks you should be wearing. She said if you can get the surgical masks, the KN95 masks, or those N95 masks to best protect yourself. That's just a recommendation, though not a requirement. If you have any face covering that meets CDC guidelines, you will be allowed inside buildings in the city of New Orleans starting tomorrow. Reporting live outside City Hall, I'm Morgan Lentis. Back to you. Morgan, thank you. Now to put things into perspective for you, the last indoor mask mandate was lifted back on October 29th of last year. On that day, Orleans Parish had 24 new cases of COVID-19. But by mid-December, a month and a half later, we saw our first major spike in daily cases. Today, state health leaders report 758 new cases in the city of New Orleans.